My name is Scott DeBellis. I'm the assistant principal here at Tuckahoe Middle School. And on behalf of the administration and staff, I'd like to welcome you to Tuckahoe Middle School's eighth grade awards night. I ask you to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call up our principal, Dr. Bart Linehan, to say a few words. Dr. Linehan. Thank you, Mr. DeBellis. I have to attend the Board of Education meeting, so I appreciate you letting me uh, say a few words. First and foremost, congratulations to all the students receiving awards tonight. It's a great accomplishment. It basically is the start of your career. We're looking for a wonderful, wonderful next four years in high school as you continue your academic accomplishments. Special thank you to the teachers, the middle school teachers, eighth grade teachers here tonight. Thank you for all your hard work this year. I can't tell you how hard they work and, and what a joy it is to work with them every day. So I thank you to the middle school teachers for all they've done this year. And of course to the parents, uh, all the parents who've worked so hard. Every time we think we're over one challenge, a new challenge arises. Uh, it's been difficult times for everybody, but the fact that everybody's here tonight, we have a wonderful students to celebrate. It's a great accomplishment. It says a lot for, for our school, our children, and our parents and our teachers. So thank you very much and enjoy the night. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Linehan. So before we get started, I do want to just take a moment to express some gratitude uh, to some individuals. Number one, like Doc said, I'd like to also thank and acknowledge all of our teachers that are here that have joined us and the teachers that are not here this evening. This was a difficult year, and I think over the past two years, our staff has shown their flexibility, their versatility, and they made sure, first and foremost, that they were here for the students. So first of all, I'd like to ask the teachers to please stand for a second and just be recognized. Thank you. I'd like to also acknowledge Dr. Linehan, Dr. Goodman, our superintendent, as well as our Board of Education members. Without their support, we're not able to have these types of functions and events for our students. They are big supporters of us as well as our students, so thank you to all of them. I know they're not here, they're at the meeting, but again, I just want to acknowledge and say thank you to them. I'd like to also thank Mrs. Linda Hoffman, who organized and put together this entire event without realizing how much goes on behind the scenes. There is a tremendous amount of communication and preparation that has to happen in order for this to go smoothly. So thank you, Mrs. Hoffman, very much. And finally, before we get started, I want to congratulate tonight's award recipients, but I also want to acknowledge the entire eighth grade. For the past two years, these students have dealt and have overcome many challenges. They've shown their perseverance, and they have learned lessons that will serve them well as they move through life. So to all of you students, not only in the eighth grade, but all of our middle school students, I want to acknowledge and I want to make sure that you're recognized. So give yourselves a round of applause. I'd like to welcome two of our local dignitaries, uh, Mayor of Tuckahoe Village Mayor, Mayor Andino is here to help present an award this evening, as well as the East, East Chester Supervisor, Mr. Anthony Colavito. So welcome to both of you as well. I have the honor of presenting the first two awards, so without any further ado, let's get right into our award ceremony. The Principal's Achievement Award is given to the two students with the highest grade point average in the eighth grade. This is a remarkable feat. These two st students are extremely diligent and have committed themselves to their studies and have achieved this award due to their hard work and dedication. Both of these students strive to do their best on every assignment. It is clear that their motivation is more than just doing well academically. Both of these students are learners who enjoy learning. Whether the assignments are large or small, they are thorough and thoughtful in their work. Both serve as leaders for their peers. They are kind and supportive of our school community. Our first award recip recipient, Avery, is diligent, intelligent, a critical thinker, and a problem solver. She is a friend to all. She is compassionate, 
understands complex concepts in the world around us, and always maintains poise and grace. Avery is an accomplished athlete who has played varsity basketball since she was in the seventh grade. Our next award recipient, Lexi, is a hard worker as well. She has a thirst to learn new information. She sees mistakes as an opportunity to learn and loves gathering new information and taking on a challenge. She is a passionate and highly skilled debater, a deep critical thinker, a team player, and always has an optimistic outlook on life. It is my pleasure to announce the 2022 Principals Achievement Award winners, Avery Garcia and Lexi Parsons. round of applause. And now it's my pleasure to invite up Supervisor Anthony Colavita to present his Supervisor Award. Mr. Colavita. Good evening, everyone. First of all, congratulations to all of the uh, recipients of awards tonight. Job well done. The Supervisor Colavita Award is presented to a student who exhibits strong academic abilities, leadership skills, and traits that best represent our school community. Through her academic success and leadership, this student has been a model for other students. This student has always displayed a high moral character and is particularly strong in social studies and civic responsibility. She's a hard worker who never counts herself out. She perseveres and is willing to accept any challenge. She participated in the Tuckahoe Middle School debate team for the past two years. She was the rock of her team, cool and confident at every round. She represented Tuckahoe with pride and grace. Our school community is a better place when she is involved. It is with great pride that I present the 2022 Supervisor Calavita Award to Kai Rogers. Thank you, Supervisor Calavita. It's my pleasure to welcome up Mayor um, Omira Andino. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to all of the award honorees today. I am very excited and honored to present the next award because I think that oftentimes we give awards for academic achievement and leadership, but we sometimes overlook the importance of compassion and kindness. The Mayor's Award is given to a student who throughout the course of the year has consistently demonstrated kindness and compassion in interactions with peers and teachers. This year's award recipient is Ryan Gentry. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan personifies these character traits he possesses a keen awareness of the world around him and the importance of inclusiveness, resulting in his strong sense of concern for those in the Tuckahoe, Tuckahoe Middle School community. All of Ryan's teachers say the same thing, that he is a student who always displays empathy and compassion for his peers. And that's a lot what we need more of in this world. It is with great pleasure that we present the Mayor's Award to Ryan Gentry. And I have trustees Kara Cronin and, and, and trustee Engelbert who felt that this was important enough that we should all come. So thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Andino. 
At this time, I'd like to call up our eighth grade English teacher, Mrs. Erica Conway. Good evening, everybody. Very happy to see you all here. Uh, the first award which I'll be presenting is the Assemblywoman Amy Paulin Award. The Amy Paulin Award is given to two students who demonstrate effort, motivation, and dedication to academics. The recipients of this award are model students who make an effort every day to improve their academic knowledge and skill. Both of these students have exhibited these strong qualities from September through June. They are students who are visibly attentive in the classroom, whether during individual or group work. Sophia Doherty and Justin Smith. They have both earned this award through their hard work and tenacity throughout their years at Tuckahoe Middle School. Sophia Doherty is a student whose dedication to academics is apparent. She consistently demonstrates focus in the classroom and actively seeks to improve her work in a way that shows an appreciation for learning itself. I love looking over and seeing as she understands something I am saying. She raises thoughtful questions. She shares her insights during class discussions. She's supportive of others, and she is someone who others enjoy working with, which I notice as I walk around listening to group work conversations. Justin Smith is another student who is clearly motivated. He participates actively in the classroom, and he doesn't shy away from asking questions to improve his understanding and growth in the classroom. He is quick to support other students, making it clear that he cares about the other people in the classroom and in the school itself. His bright smile lights the hallways, and I know that I am not the only teacher who he caringly asks about how our day is going. Both Sophia and Justin are assets to the classroom environment. They not only improve their academic knowledge and skills, but their efforts ripple outward, enriching their classmates as well. Congratulations, Sophia and Justin. The next award is the New York State Comptroller Award. Now, the New York State Comptroller Award is awarded to a student who has shown academic excellence and the potential for leadership through involvement in activities that improve the school and or the community. This year's recipient is a young woman who works very hard to achieve her own academic goals, but she also extends her hand to support others as well. To give a brief glimpse, she's a musician, she's a member of the chess club, she's an integral member of the TMS debate team, and the middle school student government. In the classroom, she can be counted on to do her best. She enjoys learning, and it's wonderful to watch her face as she ponders ideas and comes up with great ideas to deepen classroom conversations. This student, as one of her teachers said, is someone whose mere presence can actually change the mood of a room she is kind, thoughtful, gracious, and an optimist. She never says a negative word about anyone or anything. She's always willing to help others. And these positive qualities, they surround a strength of mind. Her determination has been showcased in debate. No matter how hard her opponents were or how intimidating the, the tournament was, she remained calm, poised, and ready to continue forward. I am honored to present the New York State Comptroller Award to Grace Irving.
Thank you, Mr. Conway. At this time, I would like to call up our earth science and eighth grade science teacher, Dr. Michael G. Lorenzo. Hello, <clears throat> so I'm here to present the Triple C Award. The Triple C Award is presented by the New York State Attorney General's Award Program. It recognizes outstanding students who exhibit courage, character, and commitment in their daily lives. Whether succeeding in academic pursuits, participating in community service, or displaying leadership skills, the two special students receiving the award this year provide us with hope for a brighter future. It's my pleasure to present the Triple C Award to both Isabella Pinhan and Travis Vega. Thank you, Dr. G. At this time, I would like to invite up our next guest, who is uh, one of our two pupil personnel members that we have on staff. And over the last two years, I can tell you that they have been very busy. They have been supporting the students. They work very hard in and out. And I think this next person does not really need an introduction. But I'd like to invite up Ms. Debbie D. Come on up, Ms. D. I love you too. <laughs> um, I'm here to present the Guidance Award. I get the really special opportunity every year to come up and talk about some students. I don't have a prepared speech because the things I have to say come from my heart. They're nothing I can write down. It's definitely an emotional speech that I have to make, but I actually love giving this award every year. The two students who get the award this year have shown strength of purpose. They have shown character that is so outstanding for a student in eighth grade that it's phenomenal for me to sit back and watch. They're not the kids that come into mine and Mr. Sullivan's office all day. They're not the kids who we talk to on a daily basis, but they're the kids that you pass in the hall and no matter what's going on in their life, they smile. No matter how hard the day is, they get through it. And then they show up the next day, and the next day, and the next day to do the same. And that's a very, very, very rare quality today. It's much easier to say, I can't. They don't. They say, I can, every day. These two children have shown these qualities and traits for three years. It has been a fabulous experience to watch them grow. It has been my pleasure to be their guidance counselor, and it is my honor to give these awards to Audra Kelly and Justin Smith. I'd like to now invite up Mrs. Abby Benedetti to present the GEO Award. That's a tough act to follow, and I have some tears in my eyes, so <laughs> excuse me. So. The GEO Award is obviously an award for leadership, and this year was my first year doing the GEO, and it was really kind of a difficult year. It was still kind of not normal, and the kids were really excited. They wanted to do so many different things. They had so many ideas, and I have to say they were really successful. They did so many different things. Spirit Weeks, they created inspirational posters. 
And the person who is getting this award, she was very sneakily quiet and always helping people <laughs> and whispering and always smiling. And I think it's almost that she didn't realize how helpful she was being and how essential. And she, she's always been devoted. She was really a leader. She attended all the meetings, supported her classmates. She was willing to lend a hand. She was very loyal, and she was really, truly a huge part of making the MSGO a success. So I'm proud to present Miss Julia DeVito, the MSGO. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Benedetti. Now I'd like to invite up our second half of our pupil personnel team, our school psychologist who also has done a marvelous job of supporting the students, not just this year, but every year, Mr. Eric Solovan. Congratulations to everyone tonight, all recipients of awards. The New York State Senate Citizenship Award is given to students who have had significant impact on the school, community, or other area of civic life. I would like to share a story about this year's recipient. One day, this young person decided to take the money he earned from recycling bottles, and he purchased toiletries, toys, and other personal items. He then contacted, all on his own, local homeless shelters in the area and donated these goods. He did this all on his own. He repeated this generous act several times with the support of his family. This speaks to the selflessness and citizenship demonstrated by this young man. This young person of whom I speak is Adam Goldberg. Adam, please come up. Right here, turn around, let everybody see you. I want him up here as we speak about him. I've come to know Adam as a kind and generous young man. I was thrilled to hear that he was selected for this award and I'm honored to present it to him. As a good citizen, personally, I value Adam's support of others in need. Since he arrived to our building as a middle school student, he volunteered his time with me in social skills group for high school students. He selflessly offered his effort and his recess time to help our students by modeling enthusiastic participation and problem-solving skills. He has also served as a manager for several of our sports teams in the Tucko community, in addition to his service to the larger community. Adam, an individual who constantly displays optimism, is someone who is constantly working on himself. He has grown tremendously during his time here, and I look forward to and count on his future success and personal growth. With that, I proudly present this recipient of the New York State Citizenship Award to Mr. Adam Goldberg. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Next, I'd like to invite up Mr. John DiArco to present our Jane K. Schwartz Award. Mr. D. It is with great pleasure that I present this student for the Pi Chapter of Delta Kappa Gamma Achievement Award. During the past three years of middle school, this student has always been a mature and responsible student who remains focused at all times. Her specific area of growth has been in her level of confidence. Her independence and dedication has allowed her to be a role model in class and oftentimes her peers seek her out for support and assistance. She is a very respectful young lady who always tries her best in everything she does. I admire her hard work and dedication, and I look forward to seeing the impact she has on Tucko High School and beyond. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to Riley Duty.
Thank you, Mr. DiArco. I'd like to invite up once again Mrs. Erica Conway to present our English award. So the first thing that I want to say is that uh, I have to start off with the fact that I was really fortunate to have so many strong readers, writers, and thinkers in my classroom. There were great discussions and beautiful pieces of writing created, of which so many of you should be proud. This year's English Award is being presented to a young woman who has excelled in English all through middle school. Her appreciation for reading, writing, listening, and thinking shines forth in the classroom along with her bright smile, her sense of humor, and her positive attitude. As we were working on our practice work before the final, I happened to caution the student not to overwrite her paragraph. I know, she said, and then that twinkle in her eyes appeared. It's just that I have so many thoughts and they have to be heard. And Lexi Parsons, you do have many thoughts, which I'm so glad that you share. <coughs> While Lexi shares her insights, she listens to her classmates' ideas as well. And as the class discussions go deeper, she can always be counted on to credit the ideas of her fellow students. Already a strong writer, Lexi visibly employed the writing strategies presented this year. She never settled. She pushed herself to test out new techniques and to find the right word choice to get her point across. She has excelled at formal literary essays, memoir, and the narrative profile based on a family interview, which she proudly told me brought a family member to tears. When conferencing with classmates, she is a thoughtful audience and responder. She is thorough, supportive, and kind. It has been a pleasure to have Lexi in my class this year. I will miss seeing her in the eighth grade hall and hearing her cheerful hellos. It's an honor to present her with this year's English Award. Thank you, Mrs. Conway. One more time, I'd like to invite up Dr. Michael G. Lorenzo to present our Earth Science and Science Aid Award. Thank you, Mr. Bellis. Okay, so first I'd like to present the Earth Science Award for 2022 in eighth grade. So this year's Earth Science Award goes to an extremely focused student. This student acted as my litmus test all year. If something I said was unclear, I just had to look over at this student, and with a befuddled look, I knew I had to change my manner of presentation. She kept me on my toes, and the class is better off because of her checks and balances. I'm always so grateful to have such students so dedicated to their learning, hanging on to every word I say as if what I'm saying is actually important. I'm certain that as she pursues her passion and continues down her path, as focused as she has been all year, I'm certain great success will accompany her in the coming years and decades. So it's truly an honor to present the 2022 Earth Science Award to Lexi Parsons. Congratulations. Now I'd like to present this year's IPS 8 Award, so IPS Intermediate Physical Science. So the IPS 8 Award goes to a student who takes great pride in her work and with great results to, to prove it. 
When grading papers, I didn't have to look at the name at the top, for I knew for the impeccable handwriting and clear accuracy for, of her answers that the work from this student, that the work was from this, ex, from this student, excuse me. She may not have voluntarily participated much in class, but she surely made up for it through her writing. Her answers were always on point and thoroughly presented. It was a pleasure to have April Janelli in my science class this year and an honor to present her with the 2022 IPS 8 Award. Congratulations, April. Thank you, Dr. G. At this time, I would like to invite up Mrs. Alexis Muska to present our Algebra and Math Awards. All right, so I need to um, present Algebra first, and I just want to say it's been an honor this year to be in the presence of this student. If you were to observe her in class, you would see a confident yet humble young adult. You would notice she's both respectful and respected by her peers. This high achieving student is often sought after in, the, after in the classroom to help explain a new topic as she quickly grasps new material with more ease than others. I admire all of her hard work and her dedication to her studies. She continuously pushes herself to learn more and always gives her best. This student is a true leader. I am confident that her future is bright and she will continue to thrive in the area of mathematics or whatever else she may pursue. It is with great pleasure I give this award to Avery Garcia. Now for math eight. So this student displays the qualities of a top math student. She's motivated, hardworking, and loves to take risks. She sees mistakes as opportunities to grow and to learn. She's a problem solver and extremely inquisitive. Oftentimes, the student will ask questions about topics beyond the scope of math eight. She enjoys sharing her ideas during class discussions with the class or even me via email. I've enjoyed having her this year in class and can't wait to hear how she impacts the world as she grows as a student. It is with pleasure I award the excellence in math to Layla Garcia, uh, Gargiulo, sorry. <laughs> Layla. Thank you, Mrs. Muska. It's my pleasure to now invite up our eighth grade social studies teacher, Mrs. Shayla Mosa. Okay. This, the social studies eighth grade, oh, the eighth grade social studies award goes to a student who is thoughtful, self-motivated, and hardworking. She takes her responsibility and role as a student seriously. Her hard work inspires me to work harder. Sophia Jackman enjoys learning, discovering, and researching historical events, political ideologies, and philosophical ideas. She does not get discouraged, and Sophia will not be intimidated. She never counts herself out. She is driven and determined, and it is my honor to present her with this year's Social Studies Award. Thank you, Mrs. Mosa. I'd now like to invite up to present our first of two Italian awards, Mrs. Antonietta DeAngelis. Thank you. Buonasera. 
The recipient of this year's Italian Award for Excellence goes to an unassuming young man who embodies all the qualities of a lifelong learner. This student is an active and reflective thinker who studies not only the lesson, but the patterns of language, its sounds, its meanings, and its nuances. He is a critical thinker. He's always prepared for class, not only with the answers, but with insightful questions that spark great conversations about the Italian language and culture. He is fearless as he travels a path of curiosity and exploration in achieving his goal of cultural fluency. Please join me in celebrating the very gifted and talented Tyler Kane. Thank you, Mrs. Dick. Yes. Now I'd like to call up our second Italian Award presenter, Ms. Anna Marie Berardi. Hi, good evening. Oh, gotta get closer, huh? The recipient of the Italian Award goes to a student who has embraced the classwork with enthusiasm and purpose. In class, uh, they have demonstrated the attentiveness and focus and well prepared. The quality of their assignments of all of, has affected their consistent effort in economic growth. In connections with the Italian language and culture, her writing and speaking, excuse me, his writing and speaking skills were exceptional. He has devoted his Italian studies and is willing to dedicate his time and effort to maintain the high level of proficiency. The Italian board goes to Connor Scully. Thank you, Ms. Berardi. And now it's my pleasure to invite up to present our Spanish award, Mr. Martin Rodriguez. Good evening. The, participant, uh, the recipient for this award has been a pleasure to have in class all year. She has excelled in class, has gone above and beyond with all the expectations at the Spanish one level. It has been an honor to witness her communicative and writing abilities thrive. Always saying hello, always saying goodbye, always saying thank you, and everything in between. She showcased her knowledge of the language so well, always asking questions and seeking to give it her ultimate best. And that was always way past 100%. It is my honor to present Lexi Parsons with this award for her achievement in Spanish this year. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. Waga was not able to be with us, so Mrs. DeAngelis will present his Spanish award on his behalf. Mrs. D. Thank you. This year's Spanish award recipient is a hardworking, determined student who is truly dedicated to the study of the Spanish language and culture. Over the past two years, I've witnessed her growth as a Spanish student and true desire to learn and absorb as much as possible. Whenever I have the chance to mention a new vocabulary word, that goes well beyond what is required of a Spanish one student. She always pays close attention and proudly incorporates it into her work in the future. She is an inquisitive learner 
asking high-level questions that are often a step ahead of the current grammar or vocabulary topic. I know she will continue to do great things in Spanish classes in the years to come in high school and that her language skills will continue to develop and flourish. It is my honor to present the Spanish Achievement Award to Audrey Kelly. Thank you, Mrs. D. <laughs> Ms. Kikase was also not able to be with us, so presenting on her behalf, Mrs. Abby Benedetti for the Art Award. The student receiving tonight's Art Award has demonstrated commendable traits not only as an artist, but as a member of the school community. It has been a true joy to watch this student's artistic journey from sixth grade to placing first as a seventh grade student in the annual Peace Poster Contest to her current graduating year from Tuckahoe Middle School. I am truly impressed by the levels of responsibility, effort, and careful attention to detail this student puts into her artwork. Throughout the years, this student has continuously rendered exceptional quality works of art. I am extremely proud of this student, and it brings me great joy to announce Avery Garcia as this evening's Art Award recipient. Thank you, Mrs. Benedetti. Now I would like to, I'd like to call up Mr. Duchateau to present the remaining Art Music Strings Award. Mr. D. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> I'm happy to get to announce all the music awards tonight. <clears throat> so first we will start with chorus. Uh, for Miss Miss Reedy, leadership, commitment, inclusive, dedicated, diligent, and positive are all words that come to mind when thinking of Ryan Gentry. <clears throat> he is an extraordinary young man who leads by example. Ryan's positive attitude assists him in leading the rest of the Roaring Tigers and chorus. Ryan always dedicates 100% of himself in everything he does. Ryan is always on time. is energ is energetic in class and for rehearsal. He is reliable and conscientious. He greets every challenge with a positive attitude. This is an important trait in his success and a trait that should be admired. He has been a member of Chorus and Roaring Tigers during his middle school tenure and is a phenomenal young man. We look forward to his successes in future years in Tuckahoe High School. Congratulations, Ryan. Next for band, uh, Mr. Toby Poole has been a member of the middle school concert band as well as the high school concert band as a lead clarinetist. A long-standing member of the high school marching band, he has performed level six NISMA solo clarinet pieces and is on his way to becoming a virtuosic clarinetist and great musician. He was also a great member of the Pitt Orchestra. Uh, it is my privilege, privilege to award the 2022 Instrumental Music Award to Toby Poole. Okay, finally, for my string award, it gives me great pleasure to award this year's eighth grade string award. Uh, this year's recipient is very dedicated and has kept their dedication during this unique and challenging time. 
online learning and music are two things that don't always go together well. Uh, but whether it was one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, this student is always determined to in improve her violin technique and learn more about music. And she always seems to do this with a smile. Traits that will serve her well in her continuing education and life in general. It, I'm extremely happy and proud to give the 8th grade string award to Miss Lexi Parsons. Thank you, Mr. D. And to present our physical education awards, I'd like to invite up Mr. Felix Nicodemo. An athlete has to be able to perform and control their intrinsic motivation to push them to compete. A student athlete needs to be able to take that motivation and use it in the classroom to excel. This creates a well-rounded, humble, focused, respectful and dedicated person. These two student athletes personified these traits and both have a bright future ahead of them in whatever they choose to pursue. A big congratulations to Avery Garcia and Richard Parada. I don't think Richie's here today. Thank you, Mr. Nicodemo. And to present our final award of the evening, I'd like to invite back up Mrs. Muska to present the American Association of University Women's Award. Okay, the American Association of University Women, founded over 135 years ago, is an institution devoted to advancing equity for women and girls through advocacy and education, philanthropy, and research. The AAUW's value promise reads as follows. By joining the AAUW, you belong to a community that breaks through educational and economic barriers so that all women have a fair chance. One goal of the AAUW is to encourage women and girls to pursue the STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math. This year's recipients are three young women who not only possess exceptional talent in the STEM field, but in all their academic pursuits. It is my pleasure to present this award to Julia DeVito, Avery Garcia, and Kai Rogers. This is, I believe, Avery. Avery, congratulations. This is, I think, Julia. This is Julia. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. So that, that concludes our award ceremony for the evening. I would just like to thank and congratulate everyone for being here to help recognize all of the significant achievements and awards that our students have been given. So one more round of applause for all of them. I'd like to one, one more time thank our teachers. We look forward to the next week or so of activities that we have for the eighth grade leading up to our eighth grade graduation next Thursday. So at this time, thank you very much. I wish everyone a great evening. Good night.